Hi, I'm Wayne, and this is Bassador Woodworking. I made another thing. In what I swear is not a conscious attempt to create increasingly niche content to the point where it alienates my entire audience, I created another candle pin lamp. But this one has a button. Come on. The first problem to solve was drilling the hole in the bowling ball to hold the button. To do this, I held the ball in a piece of pipe. This kept the ball perpendicular to the drill bit. I then sanded a flat onto the bowling ball. It was only then that I realized it would have made more sense to do this step first. It would have made drilling easier. I'm gonna sit there. Our bowling pin's gonna be like that, and it'll have the lamp on top of it. I cut some poplar square stock to make my pin blank. I've had multiple people recommend these silicone brushes from the dollar store that are meant for like basting things and I've tried them a few times and I still I, I prefer the acid brushes these just make a mess and the head keeps falling off the thing I mean I suppose I could just super glue it on there but then that makes cleaning the thing harder so I think I'd rather pay the $2.99 for a pack of 36 acid brushes um, I know it's more wasteful but This is why you can never have too many clamps, because clamps make up for deficiencies in planning. Once the blank was dry, I could load it into my lathe and turn it down into a candle pin. With the pin finished, I could drill a hole through the entire length of the pin for the lamp cord. And cut the angle on the bottom of the pin. I then primed and painted the pin. With the pin drying, I set to test my button and get my circuit mapped out. Okay, so that's what our circuit's gonna look like. I then began work on the lamp base. I'm using some scrap plywood along with some cherry that I have left over to serve as the base. I salvage this cherry from an old headboard. I take the time to remove all of the old finish from the cherry. This is an extremely important step when you're using recycled wood. It will ensure that glue and other finishes can adhere correctly. I then pull out the miter saw to cut the miters for the base. I would have just used the radial arm saw for this, but it was buried under the wiring for the lamp and this seemed quicker. With the frame glued and pinned together, I apply wood putty to the pinholes and to any old screw holes from when this was a headboard. Back to the table saw to trim down the bottom of the lamp. Drill in a hole for the lamp cord and then dry fitting the pin in place.
With the bottom in place, I clean up the edges with a flesh trim bit. After sanding away the burn marks, I wipe the base down with mineral spirits. I use a transfer punch to align the bowling ball for glue up. Apply wood glue to the base of the pin and then fire a couple of 1 inch and 2 inch brad nails in from underneath. It's time to wire this thing. I solder the connections to the switch and wrap them in heat shrink tubing and electrical tape. For some insurance, I drive a couple of number 8 screws into the bowling ball. I then wire the lamp connections into the switch, as well as the power cord. Before sealing anything, I test the circuit to make sure everything is still working. Okay. So, light off. Light on. Light off. Light on. Light off. Light on. Light off. Works! We made a lamp! I install a couple of tie-downs to ensure connections will not pull apart if someone pulls on the cord or this thing falls off a table or so on, and then I seal the bottom of the lamp. I hit the whole lamp with a couple of coats of polyurethane. The last step, I apply the red stripe to the bowling pin using some red electrical tape. I'm very happy with the way that this thing turned out. It's gonna be a gift from my father. He knows he's getting it already. It's not a surprise or anything like that. He gave me the bowling ball in order to make this. And I like how much character that this thing has. I like that the lampshade is tilted with the bowling pin. So thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to keep up to date with new projects as they are released, even the candle pin bowling ones. And until next time, thank you.